Hey y'all, if you are just tuning in, I am Gregor and I have some special guests here, Nick Degree Geek, as well as Perry Manilow. We are That's continuing me. our Dan Hip tier list. We made it through just A through B. We're going to be continuing uh, with, we are going C through G today. That's I like how we plan. go from A to B and then immediately from C to G. Like it, it opens up wide after that. There are a lot of characters that start with A and B. We got a lot of them, but it looks like we have a pretty good number of characters to go through. Um, so let's just get right into it. Starting it off hot with our favorite time traveler from mm. a clone mama, Cable. Uh, how do we th how are we feeling about Cable? So who are we starting with? Cable. I meant, I think he meant who is going to be responding first. Oh. <laughs> Clearly we're starting with Cable. Oh. Uh, we're off to a great start. Uh, why don't we, we start, start from the bottom and go up, if that's all right. So all Perry, right. you I lead mean, us off. Me. I will start with Cable, one of my favorite Marvel characters. I think this is a weaker Dan Hip, though. He's a little too chonky for me. I know Cable's supposed to be a big, thick boy, but his gun is massive. He's taken up a lot of the screen. I would say it's a solid B tier for me. Yeah, I'm in agreement with that as well. The, what I do like about it is I do like the animation around the gun and his eye. There, There is something to that. The colors are also good. Like, I like the colors, but yeah, I, I, I think I'm in the same camp around a B with him. I think I'm a B with him as well. I do like it. He reminds me of a football player with just all of his mm. armor and the padding and stuff. The big gun is very cable, uh, so I think he nailed it with this. I just think there are other cards that do it better. So, Agreed. we agree B here. Needs a better pose, I think, is the problem. Yeah. All right, Box. next up. We have Perry's favorite character. I'm sorry to interrupt your your very riveting dog talk, uh, okay. but we need to get into Captain America. Perry's favorite card in Marvel Snap. Perry's favorite Marvel character, one of his least favorite cards in Marvel Snap because he is just the most lazy, poorly designed card, but that's not what we're getting into today. We're looking at the hip, and it's a pretty solid one. Cap has a lot of good variants. I think this one is solid. Uh, I think we would have to give him an A for America's ass. Nick, I, I'm very similar. Um, I would be more along the lines of a B just because, I don't know, the, the head placement isn't ideal, but the, the action with the shield and the colors, again, like Dan Hip and his colors are always really good. So I, I think a solid B. I think this is an A for me, personally. I really, really love the way that uh, it's framed. Like, just everything is framed really, really well. Like, you can see heavy in the top uh, on the side and then it goes diagonally across and it fills the space really well. Also, mm -hmm. it's such a Captain America pose. Like he has the shield up. He's he's like bracing himself. So this is a solid A for me. Works what for are me. we thinking? Where are we going to drop him? I would think maybe a well, well, let's put him in A. And we'll we'll figure it out cuz I think there's going to be some other cards that uh overtake where he is on okay. the A scale. We could say he's he'll be like a low A, uh but we'll figure it out as we go. So up yep. next we have another captain. We have Captain Marvel. Perry, what do you think about Captain Marvel? I don't like this one at all, actually. I think she looks a little weird. I don't think she looks like Captain Marvel. I don't know if it's the hair or the eyes, but something just isn't working for me when it comes to this one. I would go D tier here. D, wow. Okay, Nick thoughts yeah wow like i i don't think she's a but i i think the action of you know her punches and and the flare of energy around there as well as the eyes i i th wouldn't i think maybe low b mid c i'm i'm flexible in that range but i don't think she's a d tier mm -hmm. so um, i will kind of be the mediator here i think she's a c uh, I think she, the body is too much. I think it would be much more reminiscent if it was like a full body, her flying through space and, you know, using her cosmic abilities. So I would say C. So we think in C. Yeah, I'm, I, I'd be okay with C. Checks, Checks out. Go. Up next, we have our favorite bloodthirsty symbiote. Uh, not the one, not the lethal protector. We got Carnage. <laughs> What do you think about Carnage, Perry? 
Arnage is a pretty good one, I would think. This is one of the ones that I kind of regretted not getting when it had come out. Uh, of course, there are plenty of other good Carnage variants out there, but this one is on the better side of Dan Hip. I would say this is probably a either a high B or a low A for me. I'm going to go on the, the high B side. Yeah, I, this is one of the Carnage variants. I have the the Fiona Asai, uh Carnage and Venom, and those those I rock regularly until the meal time Venom came out. Anyway, as I digress, this one is one of the best that he has done, and the pairing between this one and the Venom works so well together. the 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 sharpness of you know the the symbiote coming off of its body as well as like the nails are really well done the shading is really good like it, it's 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 really good i think this is i think this is at least a low a at the very very most maybe maybe high b but definitely definitely in that range i completely agree with both of you i love the action pose i love the the detail of the black parts of the symbiote along with the red you know that that's it almost reminds me of like uh armament hockey from mm -hmm. one piece like he's yes. using that uh yeah, nick knows what we're talking about uh yeah, absolutely <laughs> now it's s tier actually uh, now that you made the one piece reference now it's actually s tier i think this is this is definitely in the a range for me so i think i this can is, agree with a yeah yep I also never realized the veins coming off of his shoulders as well. Like that is an interesting little accent to the character. He also does benefit from being paired with Venom. I think the two yeah. of them as a set is an S tier ranking, yeah, but we are not doing sure. sets. We are instead doing Cerebro, which is up next. Cerebro, speaking of S tier, I believe is an S tier. Uh, I think Dan Hip taking inanimate objects as we will get to in a later video, uh, another great one. But I think the way he does uh, inanimate objects to give them that little bit of personality goes a long way. He cutifies something that should have no business being cute. So for that, I'm going to go Cerebro S tier. Completely agree. The little thumbs up and the like cheeky grin with what it almost looks like he's made it a beard underneath. Like he looks just like a happy old guy that's just... You know, happy to be, you know, reading, reading the minds, minds of, you, of all the humans on the planet Earth. Yeah, I, I love it. And the, the colors that he chose for Cerebro itself and the contrast with the background colors, it just pops. It's just silly. It's goofy. And sometimes that's what you want in a card. Yeah, it, I was going to say this is easily an S tier for me. Everything about it is perfect. The little smile. Why does Cerebro have a smile? It's a helmet. And he's got Great. the little thumbs up. Like, it reminds me of the Fallout guy. Like the, yes. it, it's perfection, a hundred percent. So S tier, I love that yeah. we're all in agreement on it. And Can up next we have here. Cloak. Cloak. So this is another really good one. I like the way that he fills in the space with the cloak, makes him seem much larger than he actually is with the billowing cape and all that. It looks good animated. Colors are pretty solid as well. I think the background, I mean, you don't get to see much of the background, but he does kind of blend in a little bit to the background. So for that, I would say he's more along the A side than an S tier, but very good. I like it a lot. Yeah, Nick. A is A is a solid spot for him to be in. Uh, the the lines on his cloak, the way they're, again, it's just that contrast. You know, the darks and the the lights, and he's chosen a blue that's just the right shade above, and the the glowing eyes really stand out. And I like that you can still see though, like it hasn't fully hidden the character, so you can still see his, you know just his physique the only thing i'm not a huge fan of is just the placement of the hands like i'm trying to think about the anatomy of it there's, there's mm -hmm. a couple other hands and it looks like he's missing a thumb on his left hand but these are nitpicks that this is a it's, it's a good it's a good variant i think an a tier is is where it deserves to be i would have said between a and a b tier uh, i really really like it the only like complaint that I, perry had was that again i think it could pop a little bit more if they used like a lighter tone in the background that's very nitpicky. I think it looks like it looks great. So we yeah, think in, what, if that what's that what you're complaining about? That's a that's a pretty good sign that it's a good. Yeah. yeah, we'll go A. Works for me. All right. Up next, we have the collector. That How is we feel? Rick Sanchez from the hit Cartoon Network Adult Swim show Rick and Morty. And I don't quite know why they went with collector for a Rick Sanchez homage. 
I don't really see the like. I would have thought maybe more of a Is scientist. It supposed type to be? I thought that was just me that thought no, it looked like it, Rick Sanchez. It's definitely intentional. I refuse to believe otherwise. Okay. The, that, that is very much the the thing on his lip is very Rick and Morty. Uh, so I don't quite know why he went collector there instead of like a more scientist type character, like a Mr. Fantastic or someone like that, uh, or Bruce Banner, but he's more of the Hulk than Bruce Banner. I don't know. Weird choice to homage Rick and Morty there, but I do appreciate it nonetheless. Uh, I would say a solid B tier for the collector. So this collector, I it, it was one of the collectors that I was running um, for a very long time. I, I really like this one. I like the contrasting colors because I think collector as a character is eccentric. Like you look at him from the MCU, and it's Benicio del Toro. He is he defines eccentricity, and I think this does a good job. What I've never noticed because you know you're either playing on your phone or on a screen, and it's just a small little card is the blue of his eyes kind of hiding right underneath his eyelids adds just a little bit of something else to it but i don't know i think it, at least high b i would have put him in low a but i'm fine with high b i think that that fits i'm also fine with like low a high b i do like that he looks like rick sanchez i don't know why he looks like rick Chan sanchez but it kind of it works it works in this weird way it's got a big flowy yeah. cape and uh yeah this is a pretty solid variant so what are we thinking we think low A or we think in uh, high B? I'm, I'm actually leaning now a little bit more towards high B because I'm looking at that left hand and I'm like, that, that, is that a thumb or is that a finger? <laughs> like, it looks like French fries. Or it looks like the hot dog fingers from everything everywhere all at once. So nice. I, I, think, I think B works. Uh, okay, Full we'll put, here. We'll put is fine with me. <laughs> the collector above cable here, if that's all right. Yep, I like it. Next up, we got Colleen Wing. I know you are a discard enjoyer, Perry, so let's hear your thoughts. I am, and I want to throw her an A because she is a queen of discard. Uh, I do think she is one of the more unique Dan Hips in the sense that her pose is very unique. I, I don't think we see too many poses like hers, so she gets some points for uniqueness in that regard. The hair flowing. Um, I... I want to put her A, but I would I would acquiesce to a B here if we are not feeling the A. You might acquiesce. I'm not going to. This is 100% an A. I almost might put this in low S tier. Like, it is really, really good. The the hair having the movement, the fact that she's got the, the sheath from her sword as she's, like, pulling it out and going on for the attack and the expression on her face. Like, as we will see with a card that is coming up relatively soon... That sometimes doesn't work out, but I think for this one, it really, really does. This is this is one of his better variants, and this is like a really great pose. And the leaves around are phenomenal. I was going to add the leaves. I was going to say, this for me is like low S tier, high A tier. Uh, also, I would like to point out, very few of the cards actually go off the card. Her hair blows off the side of the card, and it gives it a more dynamic look. And yeah. just the, the blade and everything, it's really, really good. Okay, I thought I'd have to fight you on that one, but I'm, I'll am i happily throw her an A or S tier. Let's put her on the... low S? I think we do low S here. I think it's a low S here. I think it's deserved. No complaints yeah. here. You can, you can argue with us in the comments on the video. Tell us we're wrong. We won't care, but you can argue with us. <laughs> you can try. Yeah. Next up, we have a very good dog. We have Cosmo. What are your thoughts I on disagree. Cosmo? I disagree on the good part, but I don't disagree that Cosmo is S tier. I mean, it's just adorable, cute. The pose is great. It's it's everything you could ask for for a Cosmo S tier. I don't think we need to discuss too long on this one. Yep. Absolutely not. The little peats, the tongue, just everything about it is just adorable. And the fact that you can earn it without having to spend an absolute fortune in the game, too, is is nice. Do we put Cosmo above Cerebro is the question. Hmm. I think yeah. right in Cerebro and Colleen, I think I will still give the edge to Cerebro here just because there's more the creativity concept. on display with Cerebro. Like, you can make a dog cute very easily. I don't That's think that point. requires that much effort. But to make a mind-reading helmet adorable, I think Fair. deserves the top spot. That's absolutely Fair. true. All right. Up next, we have... My cat is just covered in dirt. Uh, we have Colossus. <laughs> I don't, there's like Colossus. plumes of dust coming off of him. Go ahead. Sorry. 
Colossus is an interesting one. I think he is on the lower end of the spectrum here. He's kind of doofy looking. And I know he is just a big, dumb hunk of metal most of the time. But I would have liked something, uh, uh, maybe just a better pose. I think the colors are good. I like the costume. Call back to the old X-Men arcade game. Uh, but I don't know. Something about it, the pose is just not doing it for me. It doesn't seem a very Colossus pose. I would have liked like the flex for Colossus. That would have been cool. What are we thinking then? What, what did you say? I didn't give it a rating. I'm going to say C. C. Okay, wow. I would have gone low B. I think low B fits, but I can also see the C. The reason I go for the low B is you've got things like the rocks that are around him. And I don't think the pose is terrible. At least there's some action going on with it. Like he's obviously just blown out of something or destroyed something that's causing debris to be flying around everywhere. But I don't think I I would still also like debris is later C. on the list. Yeah. <laughs> but um This um, is Oh, go ahead. Yeah, I, 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 there's not a ton to say about it. It's, it's fine. So I think C, low B, C is, is fair. This is where I'm going to fight both of you. I think this is like a oh. low A for me. Like really? I, yeah, I really dig this. Like, I was excited about this one. Yeah. Uh, I, I think it's a great Colossus pose. Like, he is a big, dumb piece of metal, but that's his thing. He's Russian. He's going to punch you. Uh, like, I, I can't see him in, like, the juggernaut pose, like, similar to Cable. I think it's kind of fitting. Uh, I don't know if he would be flexing either. Like, he's, he's a hand-to-hand -hand combat kind of guy, you know what I mean? Like, he's getting in there. I love the colors. I don't hate the face, and I think his proportions are great for how big he is as a character. You know Good what it point. is? He's got a very tiny head, and I think that's what's what's throwing me off. Now that I'm looking at it, I just pulled it up on my other screen here to look at it a bit uh, closer. And I do I do like the rocks. Um, the pose isn't as bad as I initially thought, but his head is so tiny, and I think that's throwing me off. I mean, he's got a huge body, and bodybuilders do have tiny heads, comparatively speaking. But is he a bodybuilder, their... or is he just metal? He is just a metal being. I don't know the origin of Colossus. Tell us in the comments if you want to. But, I, I, I mean... I, I could tell you. Like, he could, turns into metal, and he's just a big Russian dude who got really big oh, right, working yeah. on a farm. Ah, uh, okay. Fair. Fine. Look, don't leave a comment down below explaining <laughs> it. Just, just take away engagement, Gregor. Thanks for that. I'm trying to help you with engagement. Tell us why Gregor shouldn't have done that down in the comments below. <laughs> <laughs> Gregor, why Gregor should be less of a nerd. Exactly. I, I can't go any higher than a B. I'm okay with that. Uh, yeah, I think, I think B is fair. If we, can, if we can stick around with B, I think that, that suits. Can that I is, at least say hi, B? If you must. Okay. Yes. For now, at least. We All may, right. We may fight you on that later if things kind of go. That's, that's fine. That's voice. a win for me right now, and I'll take it. Uh, right. Next up, we got Crossbones. Crossbones. This one is pretty dope. I'm not going to lie. I think he does a great job here of making him look menacing and cute at the same time. Uh, the eyes are great. Um, probably one of the better Crossbones variants out there, honestly. I would say this is a, an A tier for Crossbones. What do you think, Nick? Nick? Yeah, I, I am 100% in grants with this. Um, I just pulled it up on Snap that I have open in the background, and the background animates, and the flames behind the background is really, really cool. I'm 100% A tier at the very least. The X on the front just works. His face gives a little bit of the Punisher vibe. Yeah. I don't know how I feel. Like, I think one of the things that's keeping it from S tier, though, is the hands. There's something just too blocky about the hands. I yeah, think it's the fact that, that we don't get to see any of the shape of the hands. We just see the front of it. it takes away mm -hmm. from it a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, they're just... It looks like he's, he's holding uh, meat and mallets. <laughs> You're going to go tenderize some, some sirloin steak. I, I don't want to ruin like... this for you, but I, I'm kind of seeing tiny lockers. Okay, I see it now. <laughs> I was going with... I was thinking like almost like a, like a beer stein. Okay, uh, I can see that, that too. That they're being held out like this. Like, he's got two pints to give you. It actually kind of looks like a keg a little bit. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I mean, Crossbones, it wouldn't surprise me. He's carrying around a couple of kegs with him, <laughs> although he's not Colossus, so he doesn't have the same strength level, but... Right, he's just a dude. So yeah. we think an A tier for this? Yeah, I didn't realize the, the animation on that flame. That's definitely A tier. We should definitely take the, that into consideration, the animation stuff, too. Okay, so are we thinking... Absolutely. I don't think it's better than Captain America or Carnage for me. I, well, what do you think? Where, where do you think we're fitting him? Yeah, I, I'm tough. good with that. Okay. All right. We can always reorder I'm, these later, I'm, too. I will. Yep, agreed. <clears throat> Although we have not come back yet, but I think we'll get there. Okay. We can do that at the end. Yeah, we can, we yep. can go over. Y'all make your piece uh, at the end, and then we'll figure out where everything is. Okay, up next we have Crystal. Um, <laughs> Got some crazy helmet hair going on. What what do you think about Crystal, Terry? I think this is possibly the worst Dan Hip. I think this is a D tier. She has nothing really going for her. The little blue and orange stuff around her hands is animated nicely, I guess. But it's just, I don't know. The hair is doing a number on it. Her body is like very flat and i don't mean just like curve wise but like the colors on her body are just very flat i don't know i don't like it at all the face is creepy that's a that's a d for me nick i was i so I, it, <laughs> just made okay. nick malfunction for a second <laughs> yeah well because i was surprised you didn't immediately just toss it flat into the 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 like below f tier but yeah, I, I don't think we have. Do we have an F tier on no, our D, list? I don't D think is we do. the we lowest we have. D. Okay, I think that's fair because I don't think anything Dan Hip does is is F tier. Um, what this I will say again, I pulled this one up. I I upgraded this one, this specific card that I've never really upgraded, um, just to see the animation on the the colors, like the the flames around her hand, really really cool. The hair moves, that's really cool. Everything else is. <clears throat> Yeah, just it. This is the meme version of the cards that we don't love, unfortunately. And yeah. I, I don't think, I don't think anyone D at yeah, just D. It's a D. It's it's like the Timu Elastigirl is what I'm getting <laughs> from it. <laughs> it's it's like, uh, yeah. uh, it's 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 rough. This one is rough. The eyes, the face, it's creepy, and like you said, it's very very flat. So I'm totally okay with putting Crystal in D. Works for me. No arguments. Same. Next up. Get her out of here. X-Men. Get out of assemble. here. Let's move, X-Men. Exactly. X-Men assemble. Let's, let's move, X-Men. Come oh. on, he's the most famous move card in the game. Can't get that right. <laughs> Cyclops is the most famous oh, move God. card in the game. It's a meme that Cyclops, when you search, when you filter on your collection under move, Cyclops shows up. <laughs> really? I did not know this. quote is, let's move X-Men, yes. <laughs> so he, the game considers him a move card because of his text, let's move X-Men. That's uh, hilarious. This is quite good. Knowing if that still is the case. I think it is. I'm pretty sure he still shows up because of that text, move. Um, yep. But I think we can move Cyclops into the B tier here. Uh, pretty solid. I like the classic Jim Lee costume from the 90s. That's always that's always been my favorite Cyclops look. So I'm glad he has that in this variant. The animation on the eye laser is pretty cool. Dynamic background with the smoke behind him. Pose is fine. I think you could have done something a little cooler for Cyclops. A uh, bit of a, of a plain Jane pose. If not for that, it probably would have been a little bit higher. But that is a B for me. I'm in the same boat. Um, I've got it up right now. I'm watching the animation. The rocks are really cool. The background, there's some slight movement there. I think the issue with Cyclops, and I'm looking at all the other Cyclops variants, almost all of them have the same pose. Like, he's never really doing much. He's standing and staring because, let's be fair, he either does that or he, like bemoans things and people and and just is annoyed at everything but i i the, i agree the the eye lasers um and the animation behind it really stands out i would pick this over the jim lee cyclops if, if you want my honest opinion Whoa. like as hey, far man. as if i had to choose a variant to choose Whoa. it would be that over i actually agree with it's nick just... on that oh i yeah this is a low a for me like this is mm. 
I really, really like it. I like the coloring. This is how I also like Cyclops to look. I love the smoke in the background and the different colors they got going. I think it complements his outfit really well. The yellow and the blue and the red. I think it just pops. I like it a lot. I mean, th good thing we're not doing a Jim Lee tier list right now, or else we'd have to uh, <laughs> throw some hands here. But okay, if we're doing I, Jim Lee, the ranking. If we're doing Jim Lee tier list. I have to bring up the green Jean Grey with the eyes. Uh, mm. Oh, yeah. We don't have to talk about that. <laughs> I wanted though. Okay, so are we thinking? Where are we thinking? A, B. I I'm okay with A. Okay. Low, Low A. a. Yeah, at the end of A. <sighs> at the at the end of A. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Up next, we have Dagger. This is another rough one, I think. I don't know. Uh, I think it's the things around her hands. They're, like, too big. The energy around her her daggers is a little too big. The animation's kind of cool. Um, but I don't know. I, I'm not digging the... It's, it's pretty cool animated, looking at that now. Um, I'd say like a C. I'm not super impressed with this one. I'm gonna figure out how she does, how she's holding that. Yeah, right? Yeah. Like what? Yeah, I don't know. She's like... I like how we're trying to turn our heads to, to like that's <laughs> going to do anything with, <laughs> with the static 2D image on our monitors. Yeah, I, I don't quite understand. Like her fingers are wrapped around and then she's also holding them up in front somehow. She's holding mm. it like Gambit would hold a playing card. But not even, right? Because where's her thumb? Like, she has the fingers out here, but it looks like her other two fingers are over her thumb, kind of? So one hand is, is holding the blade like this. The other one is holding it like this. It's her left hand. So her left hand, yeah. 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 Maybe she's just flinging. Okay, sound off in the comments below. Explain this to us so that we can picture it. It's 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 like that that image of the woman and the duck, and you just have to look at them the right way, and they they turn into both. And oh right, yeah, I forgot. Gregor has weapons at his desk with him. This, that, that's this is my fidget, fidget toy. toy. Is a kunai. Yeah, <laughs> you fidget kunai. And if someone tries to break in, you can immediately kill them too with the fidget toy. Yeah, that's smart. <laughs> Double usage. But yeah, I mean, I, you I could throw a fidget spinner, and that might do it too. But less cool. Yeah, I I I am higher on this than Perry is just for the face. Like I really like what he's done with the the like the I forget what the 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 weapon that she uses is, but around her eye, like the the little C around there. I don't think any of her other variants cuz I've got a few of them. None of them show that. And I think that gives it at least a little bump up from there regardless of the hands. Um the hair animates really nicely and the background this is the one time where I don't know how I feel about the contrast in the color. Like, where does the purple come from when it comes to Dagger as a character? Like, it doesn't fit the name, which has got the yellow tones to it. It doesn't fit the hair, which has got her yellow blonde hair and the blue. Um, but I think I see low B for I her. Think, I think it's think a low Gregor? B for me. Uh, I think they just probably, he probably just needed a color to pop and purple mm. definitely makes it pop i know it doesn't really fit the character as much but i think it's a cool pose i think the face is cool i don't know what's going on with again they're gonna let us know in the comments um yeah but i would say this is a low b for me Are we okay with that perry yeah works for me all right next up i i know you love this card my man yeah. Uh Dokken. Dokken. I think this is a fantastic Dan Hip. If there weren't other great Dokken variants, it could arguably compete for one of the best. Uh it's so dynamic. The colors are fantastic. The the expression is great. Like there's usually not a lot of expression on Dan Hip faces, but you can just see the anger in his face it's really cool the hair moves with the animation uh i would i would argue s tier for docking hmm. i don't know if i would have said s tier thinking about it but you know i mean it is wolverine's son and wolverine is my favorite marvel character yeah i i'm i'm looking at it now i really like like the shard that's behind him the the Muramasa blade that is you know it's got the colors mixed in with it. 
Mm -hmm. um the the tribal symbol that he has on his like upper shoulder works really well um the the colors are great the pose is great the hair is great The, the the location of his his hand blades is somewhat i'm uncertain of but i looking at the other variants like i don't know a ton about him as a character so it looks like it is probably accurate but you know what yeah let's go s tier i think i think he's deserving of s tier i would agree so too like also look at like the shadowing on his one arm like you can see Mm. the definition of his forearms through the shadowing it's really really well done even the like the knuckles and like the different parts of his neck and stuff and then you have like the black like the true black shadow, I think, yeah, he really nailed it on this one. This is also the Dakin that I use when I play this card. This is my go-to Dakin. So I would agree. This is an S for me. Low S tier. Nice. I would say, I, I put her higher probably than Colleen Wing. I'd probably put, yeah, I'd probably put Dakin here. Yeah. Two discard cards in the top tier, baby. You know I'm part of this list. Eaten good. <laughs> What I need to know, because I st- we, I still don't think we have a proper answer on this. Is it Dokken? Is it Dokken? Is it Dakin? It's 100% Dokken. It's Dokken? I have heard people say that Marvel confirmed that it was Dakin. And I think, think in X-Men 97 that it was pronounced... He ain't even in X-Men 97. No, but what are he's you talking mentioned. About? No, it's Dokken. Yes, he is... Me- when was okay. he met- okay. mentioned in the comments down below? I'm not crazy, because I remember in I was watching 97, and somebody mentioned his name. Mm. I'm gonna need the clip. Think, yeah. Okay. Post it on Twitter right. and tag Dakin, me. Yep. Dakin. Yes, please. Dakin. Like, th- there's too many ways to say it. We need confirmation. Yep. I'm. Yes, I, I'm willing to die on the hill if it's Dakin. Dakin. And if I need to be struck down, then so be it. <laughs> Up Bonds next, we got the man devil. without fear. You ready, Perry? Yes. What are your thoughts? I am ready. First of all, I love the OG costume with the yellow and the red, so you get some extra points there. Pose is good. He's swinging into action. Nothing too crazy animation-wise. A little bit of confetti flying around, it looks like, but colors are great. I would say this is a solid A tier for Daredevil. I'm looking at it right now, and I'm trying to look at it because I actually had this is one of the few um, cards that we've mentioned that I have a good split on it. See, I would have gone low B with this one i don't know what really? it is i i you know what i think it is I, i'll be honest i don't like this costume for daredevil i never have mm. i've always preferred the red just i do not like the yellow the yellow just bugs me in his costume so i think that may be that may be kicking you know what i you don't like ketchup and mustard feel. no i'm not i'm not well oh, i do I like ketchup and him. mustard on my hamburgers and my hot dogs oh, go ahead no. rage the on me all you want now Ketchup on hot dogs is delicious. I'm but, Canadian. <laughs> hey, I liked ketchup. it before I came to Canada. Remember, I grew up in the States. I ate more hot dogs in the States than I did when I came than, since I have been here. And ketchup on hot dogs is delicious. Maybe it's just a Midwest thing. Who knows? But mustard is all you put say, on hot Okay. For another mustard, later time. Mustard goes on hot, yes, mustard goes on hot dogs, but so does ketchup. Listen. And is a hot dog a sandwich? Anyway, uh, regarding... <laughs> In the comments, we can. Um, regarding the face, that I think is what brings this up a little bit. Like that is that is Matt Murdock there. That is yeah. your your gravelly lawyer meets vigilante. Um, the man without fear. Yeah, red eyes are great. Yeah, I would, I would see it as a low B though. If if I'm doing anything, I I, I yeah. So the difference here is it's just preference. You don't like that costume. Yeah. I do like that costume. Yeah. I also like the costume. It's a low A for me. I I think it's awesome. Like, it's great. I imagine the stuff in the back is, I, in my mind, they're lottery tickets, but it's probably like debris and things like that. <laughs> um, lottery tickets. Okay. And yeah. You know, Where let me, let me have from? my, uh, my head cannon. Yeah. Sure. All right. Yeah. I think All it's right, a so we're little. bullying l- Nick and we're throwing it in low A. Uh, fine. I don't, uh, I, I don't feel that strongly about it one way or another. Do we think the Daredevil is better than the Cyclops is my question. I'd say no. Okay. Animation-wise, yeah. the Cyclops beats it. Okay. Up next, we have Darkhawk. Dark Hawk, the Edgelord himself. Uh, so, Darkhawk has many, many good variants. Very few Darkhawk variants that miss out there. 
Um, however, this one has bothered me for some reason, and I don't know if it's... He looks very tiny, and I don't know if Darkhawk is supposed to be short, but I don't know if it's the pose or the wings that make him look smaller. It's a very cool pose, um, with the wings especially, but he just looks a little too small. I would describe it and... as scrunched. Like yeah, he, yeah, that's that's a better way to look at it. Like he's compressed. It's it's like he was told to, you know, we need to we can you scrunch down a little bit for the picture? Right. Like you were going to be out of the frame, your wings would have been too much out of the frame, so you kind of have to fit all that in there. And it does suffer for that. Maybe he could have just been a little bit smaller in the frame. I don't know. Um nothing crazy animation-wise. The wings move a little bit. Darkhawk's just always a cool-looking character, though, so it's hard to say it's a bad variant. Like, he just... The design is cool. Uh, so I would say, just on the hip factor alone, it's probably a B. I want to like this one, because it, it, it it's reminiscent of the Flaviano Darkhawk. But, yeah, I the, the bother has been there for me as well. It is just... I think it's because his upper body takes up so much of the frame, and the wings are there, and the hands... I think there's also a, a a proportion issue that I've got, especially with his left leg that looks like he is smuggling a watermelon <laughs> instead of it just being his thigh. Um, yeah. I, I would go more high C. Ooh, Ooh like high C. Drink. Delicious. <laughs> I would say low B, high C as well. The problem I have is, so his hands are up. And I don't know mm. if they're meant, if they were truly up, they would be longer. But if they're mm. supposed to be coming forward, they would be bigger, right? Like they would be closer to the frame. It mm. looks like he's go, like, I can't tell what's going on with his arms. That's my problem. Um, I can't tell if they're supposed to be up or if they're supposed to be going forward like his leg is. And I think that's what's kind of causing the scrunch that we're getting. And mm. I think maybe it had something to do with, like, his wings are going straight up, but his hands can't figure out if they're going forward or if they're also going up. And, uh, yeah, for me, probably high C. I think I would probably put this... Would we put this over Captain Marvel? No. Mm. Or, yes, it's better than Captain Marvel. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Uh, I do want to say, in things of, that I do like, I really, really love the colors used in here. Mm -hmm. Like that they use the, the purple as the highlight that they have going and the deep, dark shadows for the parts where the shadows are. Like, I really, really dig the colors. I just wish the proportions worked better for me. Yeah. And the, the claws that. are real, real short. Like, I was comparing it to the other variants that I've got, and he's got teensy little claws in this one. Like, they're just little baby claws. Like, he hasn't grown into his full claws yet. He hasn't hit claw puberty yet. So maybe this is just a, you know, preteen Darkhawk. He's just a beefy preteen Darkhawk. And, there you go. You know. It looks like he has a little corn cob holder claw. Like, it, it's, you get two of them, and then you just put them into your corn cob, and then you just eat it, you know? Uh, I mean, but yeah. if you've got it, why not? Like, I mean, can you imagine having a constant, easy to access corn cob holder? Either? That that yeah. that'd be great. I love yeah. corn on the cob. There you go. All right. Up next, we got Dazzler. Harry, what do you think about the Dazzler variant? I think Dazzler is like the prototypical Dan Hip variant. Like when I think of a Dan Hip variant, I usually think of this Dazzler. Nothing spectacular, nothing bad. I do think the background is quite nice on this one. The colors are a good contrast. Uh, nothing special as far as pose or animation goes, but I think it's a solid B for Dazzler. Yeah, I Nick? think I think a high B very, very much. Like The look on her face is really interesting. Again, he's he's really good when he's got a character that has long hair being able to do something interesting with that. You know, I like the bandana. I like the, you know, energy circles around her hands. Um, there's nothing... Th like, this is one that is a solid, like, you want... If you were to try and introduce Dan Hip to someone, this would be a good one to be like, a, this is a normal good card. And it, it would be hard to look at this and go, oh, yeah, well, I don't like it for this reason. So I think I think a high B would fit for her. Okay. Uh, yeah, I could see uh, mid to high B for this card. It looks, yeah, it looks good. It is again like you're, you see Dan Hip. You know this is Dan Hip. So, 
Yeah, I would say probably here. I Very middle is where I would put her. Yep. I'm fine with like right smack dab in the middle. Okay. Yep. We got Deathlock next. Deathlock. This is another mid-tier one, I would say. There's nothing particularly great about it. Some good color work going on here. I do think not much in the animation department outside of the stuff moving on in the background. Um, totally fine. Not ugly. It, it gets the character across. I don't think Deathlock's anyone's favorite character, so not really a whole lot you could do with him. Um, basic. B. Yeah, I, I am in agreement. I do like the way the color shifts inside the gun with the animation. Um, but he also does look like a bit of an alien. I don't know much about the character, but I guarantee you someone has Deathlock as their favorite character. I don't know that person, but I'm positive someone is, no. is like obsessed with Deathlock. There's no way. But I, I dare you to find me someone whose favorite Marvel character is Deathlock. You, if you're out there, at me, come to my house, <laughs> show me your, your Deathlock merchandise, memorabilia. Good luck. No shot is at Deathlock anyone's favorite character. So I he, asked, he looks a little alienish. I asked my community about Deathlock. I'm like, is Deathlock mm -hmm. just Marvel's DC version of Deathshot or Deadshot? And they're like, yeah, 100%. That's what he is. So he's like part cyborg, looks kind of like Deadpool with a face that's mm. left there. Uh, yeah, for the, this is pretty mid for me. So I would say probably low B for me on this one. I like it. No yeah. arguments. Yeah, no arguments. Up next, we have Debre. 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 Uh, this one is also... Nothing special, I would say. I mean, you do have the debris. It's moving around. Uh, I think her colors and framing is quite good. I like how the afro takes up a lot of space. Um, that is one of the more unique hairstyles we see. So I think that's pretty cool. But nothing spectacular. A solid B. It looks good. Yeah, I, I feel very similar to that. Um, I think she's. I think little Debbie has one small issue that I'm now never going to be able to unsee that I never think about until I get to the point to where I'm actually looking closely at the card. And that oh. is her pants. They look like they are, like they should not be where they are, that they should not be on there. She needs a belt. They're going to just fall down. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's nothing, nothing that I'm just like, Ooh, or Ugh. cargo it, shorts. I ran, I ran this for a while because it was fine and it's still fine. Yeah, I like this one. I, I agree that it's like a B for me. Probably mid B. I would probably yeah. put her a little either before or after Dazzler, personally. Um, but within that yep. range. I think she's probably right between Dazzler and Cable. Mm. Cool. I'm fine with that. Next up, we have one of the contestants in the contest, uh, Destroyer. Everybody's favorite. What do we feel about Destroyer, Perry? Destroyer. So, yes, the context of that was uh, shortly after or shortly before we recorded this, there was a vote, community vote for the uh, free variant we get for the second anniversary of Snap. There was Destroyer, there was Armor, which was the inevitable winner, and of course there was the best variant that was not chosen. All of us here, I believe, were Team Duck. Uh, I was Destroyer. No Oh, we had a traitor amongst us. <laughs> That's why. Well, tisk 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 indeed. Obviously, the Howard was the best one. But we're not talking about Howard right now. We're talking about Destroyer. Big chunk of metal. Uh, nothing really unique about this. Basic pose. I would say, if not for the fire in the background, this would probably be like a D. But I will give it a C for uh, that. Nick? Yeah, it's fine. It it suits if you don't have another variant for Destroyer, but it's not anything that's super exciting. Like it, it, there's 
there's not a ton going on. He's just a shiny chunk of metal. Honestly, I will say the Destroyer variant that was not chosen is a better, like, it's a better representation of him as a character. There's there's more that can be done. I don't think much of the, the Destroyer variants even suit that. Like, they, 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 they don't represent what he could or should be. So, yeah, I, I mid-tier at the, like, CB, it doesn't really matter. I don't care. I don't care enough. <laughs> so I like the card. Like I like how he looks. I really like the the lighting. Like it looks almost like aqua. Like it, I don't know. I really really like the colors he used. But I'm not a huge fan of the pose. Like it's just so mm. basic. He's like, yeah. "Hey, I'm here." Um yeah, I would say I was going to say like low B, maybe high C. But I think he Not looks Kaiser. really cool. Like, that's a cool-looking character. Yeah, it's a decent design. I, I would say probably, I would put him higher than Deathlock, honestly. Like, I think he looks cooler than the Deathlock. Well, what I will say about the Deathlock over him is there is, I think there's more going on. There's more contrast. But, th again, to be fair, he is a gigantic piece of metal that yeah. doesn't have a lot going on. So... We, where we where we thinking high C? I don't yeah. care enough about Deathlock or yeah. Destroyer to yeah. fight you on them. Yep, I'll put him That's here. That's fine. I'll put him there. Uh, up next we have Devil Dinosaur. So Perry? I know I said Dazzler is the Dan Hip that I think of when I think of Dan Hip, but I lied. It's actually Devil Dinosaur. This is like the definitive Dan Hip for non-humanoid characters, I would say. Now, it's nothing special. It's one of the earliest Dan Hips as well, and I do think as his work continues to evolve, they do get a little better. You see some more animations come in. But judging this, just based on the the precedent and the how, how it just looks on its own, uh, I think it's great. I think it's a solid A tier for Devil Dinosaur. He is cute but scary at the same time. Fits the frame pretty well. He's got the little T-Rex arms, too, so that's that's cute. Um, very solid. I like the Devil Dino. Nick? Funny, I was, I was looking to pull him up in my collection, but this is one of the variants of his that I do not have. I think it's these ones and the, the Jeff, which I somehow did not get. I, I still am mad at myself for that. Isn't the Jeff I one like, like a very special version? That was his spotlight variant. Okay. Yeah. So he had, he had it as a spotlight variant. I don't love this one. Like, I, I, it's fine. I like the arms. The arms are cute, but you don't really get to see much. It looks like he's been smushed down into just like a, a little squish. Like, it's a dinosaur. You can't charge him. He's, yeah. he's huge. But he's, he's a T Rex also. He's a big, imposing, helpful T Rex. And, uh, eh. I, maybe it's because I don't have it in my collection. Perry, did you get this one? Do you have this one? I don't think I do, actually. I'm all, I'm looking at these on Snap.Fan. Yeah. Um, it's fine. Like, I, I, this is one that I don't feel any real which way about. Like, this was an A I'd for me. B. Okay. I'd put it yeah, at an A. It. I really like the pose. I like that he's charging at you very... It's a, dinosaurs charge at you. It's very Jurassic Park. And uh, I love the face. I love the little arms. I think the colors look great and the background. I do agree it is a little bit squished, but I think it works. I think it works pretty well. I would put this maybe above Daredevil, like was right in there. Yeah. One thing, one thing I didn't mention either is that he's got a very expressive face for a non-humanoid. True. And I think that is uh, a nice feature as well. When you see some of the other non-humanoids, like you look at Destroyer, no expression on Destroyer's face. And now, mm. of course, it's just a giant piece of metal, but you can still give expression, as he did with Cerebro, as he did with Devil Dino in this place. So I like that. Agreed. Next up, we have Domino. How are we feeling Domino? about Domino? Domino, the one thing I'll give credit for is that you don't see a green background in many of these, so that's mm. pretty unique. It helps her stand out. Uh, other than that, it's your your stereotypical falling shooting pose from the sky. Colors are good. Proportions are good. 
not a whole lot of animation going on. Uh, I would say this is a solid B tier for Domino. Yeah, I, I'm. I feel the same. This is this is one of those variants that you will a probably never see in the game due to how you would have to go about getting it. Like, I still think that's insane the work that you had to do in order to get this variant. Um, but yeah, it's it's not anything that that screams excitement. She's not doing anything. She's just got her guns out. You know, it's not like she has her sword out. It's not like she's yeah. It's just fine. So yeah, be. And this is another one that I, I don't feel any certain way about. It's a B tier for me as well. I also think her face looks like she's scared a little bit. Mm. It's giving a little bit scared, which I don't know if that's fitting her character. Um, she's got uh, great luck. Yeah, exactly. She does have anything she's to worry lucky. about. Yeah, very she's, confident character. Yeah. So I, I like the detail. I like the color. I like, but it, it's kind of, it's basic. I would say... I don't know. I would put her above cable. Maybe. I don't know. What, what are you thinking? Mm. In I think this, cable's a little bit better. Yeah, I do too. Little, uh, do we think Dagger's better than Domino? I no. think so. Okay. You know I, what? I, I, yeah, that's we'll fine. Give this one to, yeah. We'll give this one to Nick. Next up, we got that's Dracula nice. for the discard. Lovers you already in here. know, baby. You already know. S tier, <laughs> easy, so good. I mean, yep. so much expression. You you have such a dynamic framing here with the moon behind them, the little bats, the smoke coming at him. He's coming at you. He's got the claws, the 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 cape or the the cowl float, not cowl, like scarf, whatever you call that, is flowing. The eyes are glowing. Love me some Dracula. S tier, easy. I like the rhyme. the The eyes are glowing. the The cape is flowing. What's <laughs> totally what, intentional? What is, 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 are we Are we Are we now on Willy Wonka's uh, the the special little ride? I don't know. Oompa if Loompa. the eyes are glowing yeah, and the cape is flowing, do not come there in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, th this one is is an easy S tier. This is this is a great Dracula. Had I not gotten um, a couple good Dracula variants before that, I would have been running this one like consistently i think this one was one of the later releases like i don't think this was out early on but i like this this is probably my second or third favorite and most of the dracula variants are 10 out of 10 great so yeah s tier easy s tier yeah. now where does it go in s tier that's, that's the hard, hard part because like all of our s tiers are really good and i agree this is an s tier i think it's is it better than colleen wing though I don't think it's better than Dakin. I will say that. I don't think it's better than Dakin. Interesting. See, I was going to say it's right between Cosmo and Dakin. Really? Okay. Yeah, I think it's really good. The, the, the worst part about this variant is that Dracula has so many good variants that yeah. it, you probably won't play it over some of the other ones. Yeah. I think that's its biggest crime, but it's still great. Fantastic. Yeah, I, I'm I'm on board with Perry. I think I think I'd like to stick within that if we could. Okay. I think it deserves it yep. deserves its spot. This is yeah. Drax yeah, scornful of that. <laughs> Drax the destroyer. Um, I actually like this one a lot. I think the pose is quite unique. I think you have the motion on the blades. He is appropriately sized for it. He's got a good expression on his face as well. Uh, background's a little plain Jane, so not, not great there, but as far as the character himself goes, I think it's good. I think it's an A tier. I like it. Nick? Yep. I, I'm 100% in agreement. The, the animation's really good. Like, the, the stuff coming off the blades is really nice. The colors are really good. I, I don't know if you could improve the background too, too much, but I, I, I think it just fits. It, it fits the character. It the only thing I don't love about it is kind of like the the bird nose, but outside of that, everything is great. I, I think A tier is is where it belongs. And the bird nose is kind of a Dan Hip thing, so it mm -hmm. it doesn't lose him. Like a few characters have the bird nose, so I'm not gonna dock points on that. I think for me, this fits somewhere between like cloak and Cyclops. Honestly, I think mm -hmm. what y'all yep. think somewhere in there. Oh yeah. All right. I think that fits. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Um, up next, we have the character that is more invisible than an invisible woman. We got Echo. Uh, I don't love this one. I really? think she's a little too big for the frame. 
Um, I think the pose is a bit awkward as well. Like, I know she's got the tone for going on, so having to draw that could be a little tricky in terms of how you're you're posing your character. But I don't know. I'm not I'm not a huge fan. The color work is pretty solid. The background's fine. Animation's okay. I would say it's like a C for Echo. What do you think, Nick? Echo? More like no neck. That wasn't even funny. I, as it was coming out, I was like, no, I need to stop this. That's not funny. That's stupid. I, I, this That's one's always funny. Damn it. <laughs> no, I refuse. The, 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 yeah, the pose, the arm, it almost looks like her arm has been just kind of removed and placed like on top of her shoulder. Like her right arm is just in a weird position. It looks like she needs to go see the chiropractor, massage therapist, a physiotherapist, and a back specialist all at the same time. Um, the colors are great. I like her face. Like that's the frustrating thing. I like the handprint on her face. I like how um, the feathers in her hair moves. And I think that's that's really nice considering it's a character that I don't think a lot of people know her history and her origin. Um, but the pose just, it knocks it down so much and it's frustrating. It's almost like if you could just turn it a little bit, it would be a tier but i think i think it, it kind of fits in the c tier with its yeah wow this was for me was like a low a tier wow. i really i like this wow. one i do uh i like the colors i like i can see your point about kind of the angle it's weird like how is she doing that with her spine <laughs> uh yeah how are her legs doing that also i think it's funny that like the whatever is just like boob it's like just yeah boob just uh, circle. <laughs> uh, you know what it is for me? I, I just noticed that after Nick said she needs to see the chiropractor, she looks like when you're playing with Mr. Potato Head or Mrs. Potato Head and you put the arm in like a hole that it's not supposed to go in, like one of the <laughs> eye holes has the arm in it. That's kind of what she's looking like there. It, <laughs> you're right also about the neck. Like, she's like this. She do, She is posed like this. Yeah. Know? It's It's... <laughs> <laughs> the arm is in its hat. So, uh, outside, if if the pose was changed, okay, I can acquiesce. I can say low B, high C. I, I think we're say is, high is it C for I you? Say, I don't think I don't think it's better than Destroyer or Deathlock. Personally, okay. so I think it's better than Destroyer, but and uh, yeah, I think it's better than Destroyer. There's at least more visually appealing to it than Destroyer. Destroyer is just. Hey, it's me. Okay. All right, we got Echo there. We're going we're gonna to run out of space for bees before we start bleeding into where we are on the... Yeah, that's why I'm thinking we might need to uh, put some more in the C tier. I think that may be mm. necessary. Maybe we move down Destroyer and Echo into the C. Well, what happens when we start adding more to it? Let's, we ha we'll have to wait and see. We have a few more cards, and we can always okay. judge yep. when that time comes. Okay. Well, up next, we have Electra, the one-cost Killmonger. One-cost, one-lane Killmonger. Uh, she's fine. I like the design of it. I like the classic costume for Electra. That's cool. The I don't know if that is, and maybe you guys could let me know, but I don't know if she's ever had, like, curly, wavy hair like that before. All her other variants... She's got straight, straight hair. hair, yeah. so it's a bit of a weird choice. I don't know if that's just representative of her older design, maybe. Um, but it's fine. Nothing special. Nothing great going on with the animation outside of the hair. Pose is pretty standard. She's got her sigh in hands. Um, the, 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 the further one looks a little weird. It's a little tiny looking, kind of, maybe. I don't know. Nothing special. I, I, I don't feel strongly about this one. See? Yeah, I, I think high C for me. Like, this is the one that, you know, if I had it in my shop, I wouldn't buy it. But if I got it and I didn't have another variant, I'd probably run it. Like, it's at least interesting. But then, I mean, when was the last time we actually played Electra outside of memeing it or when we were in pool one? It's like, she's not even just a one lane. She's a one lane, one card Killmonger. So it's hard yeah. to invest in giving a crap about a card that you're never going to play the animation is nice like the fact that her hair moves and the 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 bit that's in front of her face does move but outside yeah it's meh i don't uh, feel i don't feel much of a way agree it's uh don't get the curly hair also i mean i would play this if i only had base electra 
I would play this over base Electra, but it's the pose is cool, but it's it's basic. It's pretty basic for me. Expression's kind of cool too. I would say this is a high C card. Hot take. I'm just looking at all the other Electra variants, and she, by the way, has some amazing variants yes. for how bad of a card she is. Like she's yep. got some fantastic variants, a very cool design. But the hot take here is that I would actually go Pixel over this Dan Hip. That's that's Ooh, saying. That's I think this is her. Take. I think this is her worst variant. Looking at all the other ones now, I think this is her worst variant. Are we Pixel. are we putting her below Captain Marvel or Darkhawk? Considering her pool of variants and the, the the myriad better options, I would say yeah. I think she goes under yeah. Darkhawk there. Okay. Captain Marvel still yeah. is really. Mm -mm. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Up next, we have Elsa Bloodstone. Now, Elsa, on the other hand, I feel like this is one of Elsa's best variants. Uh, I don't think she has many great variants, but I like the color work going on here. You have that kind of transition from the purple at the bottom to the light blue at the top. So that is more unique. Most Dan Hips kind of have like one solid color as the background. So I like that there's a bit of a contrast going on here. You got some cool animation with the debris around her. She's got an interesting pose where she's pulling the shotgun out from behind her back. Just a cool looking character. I think it's pretty solid. I would say A tier for Elsa. Nick? I, this is one that I almost would put in S tier. The, when this one came out, this I was super excited. I liked this a whole lot more than the season pass variant for her. I love the animation. I love the expression on her face. I love the orange color and how it matches, but is slightly different from her hair. You know, her her coat flowing in the background. The, again, pulling that shotgun out is, is just a really cool addition into the card. I think this is one of his best, and I think it's one of her best variants, like hands down. This is This is one that I was looking forward to getting a God split on because of how good it was. So I think I, my personal thing, I would have this at the very least top of A, bottom of S. I would say that this is an S tier. Honestly, the dynamic pose, the coloring, all of that. I would say that this is better than Dakin, Dakin, whatever. We're going to figure it out based off the comments. Uh, yeah, I would say might be better than Dracula for me. Oh, personally. Ooh. Oh, shots fired. Hey, 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 oh, hey, hey, oh. <laughs> I, I, okay. Can we at least say better than Dakin, Dakin? I will give okay. S tier. I don't know if I would get any higher than Colleen. I think she might be the bottom of S tier, in my opinion. Okay. But definitely still, I would have gone A personally. So mm -hmm. me going into S is already kind of acquiescing a bit, but I can see it. It's fine. Okay, let's, I'll allow it. let's say the low end. <laughs> yell at us in the comments. Uh, yell at Perry specifically about yes, please why we're he wrong. Likes that yeah, that's his thing. <laughs> I do. Next up, we got Falcon. So uh, another bit of a controversial opinion here. Outside of like maybe one or two Falcon variants, I think this is his best one, and it's partially because I love this costume. This is the classic Falcon costume. All the other ones are the more modern version, but I love this classic Falcon look. And Dan Hip's the only one who drew Falcon this way. So for that, I would give him an A, an a tier. Uh, it's a cool pose. He's He looks great size-wise in the frame. Cool, cool variant. A tier. Nick? I would have gone more around the B level. I think just for the simple fact that I'm a little concerned about the, I, I understand it's just the line between, and maybe if I had muscles, I would get this, but the, the ab, it looks like he's had recent, uh, like, surgery on on his intestines like it, it it i never realized until looking at it up close <laughs> that his shirt was fully open it just it just didn't even click in my brain but now that i'm staring at it all i can see is that line right right in between his abs the pose for me has always put me off a little bit. Like I like this variant and I've I've tried to figure out why I don't run this primarily because I do agree it's one of his better variants, but I don't know if that's because it's a good hip variant or it's because Falcon doesn't have any real good variants in the game. I do like the costume. I think that's cool. 
but it's very much like the 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 wings are like Dark Hawk's wings just kind of down below him, and they they billow in the animation, sort of like they're uh, uh, like you're you're back in elementary school and you're doing the parachute thing. Like it looks like he's got a parachute in behind him. I would have put him more in in somewhere in the B's mid lower mm-hmm. down, but it is good. So I'm I'm I am open for discussion on this one i am not i am not firmly in one position or another you heard that nick is not firm so falcon <laughs> not uh, yet. it i think this is a solid a for me uh i do love that dan hip always for the most part does the characters in their original outfits a lot of the time like similar to luke cage i just really really like that i like the pose it's dynamic I like how he fits the frame. This is good. I, I think the, the ab thing is very small overall. I would say this is... I, I think he could fit below... I don't know if he's above Cloak. Oh, definitely not. No, I don't think. No, yeah, I would say he's I, probably I like say. right between Drax and Cyclops for me. Drax and Cyclops for you? Okay, that's fair. Do you think he's better than Cyclops? I do personally. I guess the pose. He does have more of an action pose. Yeah, it's that's a very fine. it's dynamic. It's a very dynamic yeah. pose. The costume does a lot for me because honestly, these other Falcon costumes, like, they're just lazy and designed to me. It's just like, okay, we're just gonna put cool looking futuristic wings on this guy, and I just have a soft spot in my heart for the old design. It's uh it's got more personality to it. Agreed. Definitely agreed. Next up. You kneel before him, Galactus. What do you think of Galactus, Perry? Oh, Galactus. So this better be the right answer, Perry. There is one answer, and this better be the correct one. I really don't like this one, guys. I don't know. It's uh, it's it's not cute enough. Like it, it almost is. I Galactus kind of wanted cute? more. He's not, but, like, I feel like that's kind of the thing, is when you have this big, menacing character, you need to make him a little cuter. And he is cute, but it's not, I don't know. Something about this just bothers me. I like the the scale with the planet and stuff being, you know, smaller than his hand, so that's cool. Background's nothing spectacular. It kind of looks like he's underwater, actually, which doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. I don't know. I don't love it. I'm sorry, guys. I would I wouldn't go much higher than a B here for Galactus. Tear me apart. Yeah, I I plan on it. This one is phenomenal. I remember when this one came out. I was unsure of it until I saw it more up close. But between the colors, the way the animation moves the planets and he moves, not a lot of Galactus variants have really good animation in them. And and this is one that you know his. You get the flow of the light going up the front of him like he is flying through space and just going like destroying a planet i love this variant i love the fact that it's weirdly sized like he's got this massive head because he's just this massive character pops out of the frame this is one of my favorite variants outside of the comic book cover one uh just for galactus as a character like in in the game it's great that just the colors alone Am, am i crazy gregor like i can't be crazy about this i'm not the hugest fan of this one again like i he doesn't look like he's in space that's uh, the thing that's not, I'm, I'm noticing that too like just looking at the other variants like they're all in space and he looks like he's underwater for this one that doesn't make any sense subnautica vibes yeah um, i in the face i don't know i would say maybe b a tier somewhere in there a b i i'm kind of doing this for nick to be honest just so he doesn't get as angry at me. Um, Did Rogue burn the pizza again? No, she didn't burn any pizza. Please. <laughs> hi, Rogue. Dinner here. Nick says hi. Gregor says hi. Sorry. Hi, Rogue. Ooh. Some mid Special food. Rogue cameo. Ooh. Why were you showing that to me? I, it is, I am so hungry. That I'm hungry, so too. Good. All right, Perry, you got to tell us what you're eating really quickly. All right, real quick. This is uh, some salmon, some roasted Brussels sprouts, some fried rice, some broccoli. That sounds delicious. And a fork. Thank and you. you're not just going to go eat it with your fingies. Oh, shit. I have two forks now, but that's fine. Hey, two forks is better than none. So where are we Very thinking sure. for Galactus? Where does Galactus land? 
can we at least put him in a you can, like how is this not better than daredevil just as far as the pose alone I, exclude the background he's crushing like he's destroying planets okay i am looking at all the other galactus variants and honestly i think the only one worse than this is the pixel i think every other galactus variant here clears it by a country mile it's the chibi is cuter and then is as is in space the baby is cuter with him licking the the world like a an ice cream pop actually no the the midnight suns is worse i'll I'll give you that my controversial um, opinion is i don't like the flaviano galactus oh well that's oh. all that's definitely a hot take yeah that is a hot take yeah i don't know i i i'm really not feeling more than a b on this one but if nick wants to fight for it then he can fight how about a high B? I, I think he's I think he's better than Daredevil, man. Like he's like if you just compare the cards as a whole. Okay. I think he's a more more appealing visually versus Daredevil. I'll do I'll do this for Nick. This is for Nick. Thank you. I appreciate that. We get one. one. We both get one. A lot. Yeah. Uh Gambit I'm, is I'm trying uh, to stand up for more. Well, this is all you got. So that <laughs> Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of discards. I think Hip really likes his discards. My goodness. He he does. He, he goes really he much hard. like me. Ha, he goes hard for the discard. And I again, it's another S tier. I think prior to the Peach Momoko Blade uh Gambit coming out, this was my most used Gambit variant. I personally don't think Gambit has many great variants. I think he's got a lot of very good variants. Uh I think his best variant was taken out of the game, as we all know. But I I think uh, this is one of the better ones overall. The animation on the card is super nice. He, it really didn't need to animate as, as hard as it did. Um, but he's got the classic look going on. Takes up a good amount of the frame. Great pose as well. You can clearly see what he's holding in his fingers, unlike uh, whoever that was earlier, Dagger. Um, yeah. S tier. I, I, I know I'm biased, but it's an S tier. Nick? Yeah, I, I, I'm on board. I'm, what I will say is that you're right. Gambit doesn't have a lot of great variants, but Gambit also doesn't have any really bad variants. Like, I'm looking at the variants. I have quite a few of them. I don't think there's any that I'm just like, ew, I don't like that variant. Right. I run um, the Ring the and is one. Oh, that one's so good. That one and the Hellfire are my favorites, but I know that's not a huge fan. I know you're not a fan of it, Perry. That's fine. We don't need to discuss it I today. like the Hellfire one. He's got the... I agree. He's well, got the gutters. Slutty. He's... He's fit. Oh God! <laughs> Family. <laughs> what? The gambit is great. <laughs> the gambit is great. The animation of the card is great. Like it's it's insane how much animation is on this one. Like hands down, uh, S tier. Easy. I, this no might argument for me. It's it's for me. This is might be better than Cosmo. It's it's wow. Maybe okay. Well, I will say. At least better than Dracula for me on this one. It is more expressive than Cosmo. As, as much as I do love the Cosmo, the Cosmo is just kind of, it's very much a it's, retriever. It's a, like It's a cute it's a dog. dog. Yeah. yeah. This is like 100% Gambit. He is rushing in. The framing's perfect. The colors are perfect. It, like his expression. I had Would you say so he's about to make, make a name card, for himself? Though. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of detail on the card. He's got a great expression going on. The the detail and the shading on his coat, and like the wrinkles and the glove and the little stubble he's got going on. It's it's just great. It's and great as card. great as Cosmo is, like you said, it's it's so easy to make a dog look cute. Like yeah. it's not hard. This has this a lot really more going for it. captures the Cajun mischievous of Gambit. Yeah. Mischievousness. Um, that works. No complaints uh, here. All right, next up we got Giganto. Giganto, he's fine. I think he's a little too small. I almost would have liked to have seen him taking up more of the frame considering his size. Like, it's weird that a card like like Crossbones takes up more of the frame than Giganto does. That's a good point. Um, so I'm not thrilled about that. I do think he's funny looking. Uh, so he gets some points for that, but I don't. I wouldn't go much higher than a C here for Giganto. I would go a high C. I think just from the animation alone, the fact that the hands do kind of move is pretty cool. Like that, that gives him something. The mouth is a bit on the eerie. There's some uncanny, like mm -hmm. something going on with the mouth, but I think the colors are good. I think considering some of Giganto's other variants, I think it's really nice how 
there is depth to the shading of the green um and the look on his face is great but i think this is one of the issues that i have with hip is most of his monsters have this exact pose like it is it's like okay it's a monster this is the pose that it's going to have as we've i think experienced a little bit before this it's reflected in this one unfortunately so i'm i'm ambivalent on where i feel with this one but bc don't really care like i think for this one uh he's b for me like i also would like to point out how cool the background is like i nobody pointed out there are clouds in the background there's a forest that he's destroying i don't know if there's like fire that he's creating or like a dust storm but there's like a lot of detail in the background I do agree with Perry that it could be bigger, like the fact that Crossbones takes up so much space. I would say this for me probably beats Dazzler, I think. Wow. Okay. That's pretty uh, high. Yeah, I, I think it's fun. I also like it looks like he's burping. Like that's the vibe <laughs> that I'm getting. He's like letting out a huge belch. Um, and See, I think that's fun. He's cuter than Galactus to me. Uh, yeah, I would say so too. Hmm. But, yeah, but does he deserve that spot in in that tier? As far as just oh no, I wouldn't have put the, him above C. So there's no way I'd put him in A. But yeah. I, I can acquiesce to a B here. I think you got to probably bring Destroyer and Echo down to C. Yeah, I think that's yeah, yeah. I think that's fit. That fits as well. Also, um, I'm I'm gonna point out something that I think is kind of funny. <laughs> We're missing a card. What no, card you are guys we missing? Guess which card it is. It starts with a G. Gamora. Ghost. Oh, the invisible ghost. card is invisible on our tier list. I was like, wait, yeah. H is before I. We How are we missing Gamora as well. Gamora doesn't have a Dan Hip, does she? No, there's no, there's no oh. Gamora Dan Hip. There's no Gamora Dan Hip? Okay. No. Are we gonna and riot as we found earlier before we started recording, no Dan Hip Doctor Doom either, which is wild. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Let me see if I can download the ghost real quick. Okay. So, Perry, what are you thinking about Ghost? So, I'm glad we got Ghost on the board now, because this is actually one of my favorite Dan Hips. I think this might even be the best Ghost variant in the game. It's got a great pose, makes Ghost look like such a more interesting card than it is. Um, the the pose is going is fantastic, coming out of the wall. Like, you're really operating with everything you can with this card. Animation on its cool, eyes glowing, the little... Uh, phantasm whatever you want to call it is 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 moving underneath her as well awesome i would say this is an s tier i have yeah, a question I, oh yeah what ghost power is essentially the same as kitty prides right you know i don't know much about ghost yeah. outside of she was in one of the most forgettable mcu movies yeah. and villains and she'll be back in thunderbolts maybe which is also just a collection of forgettable villains but we don't have to get into that right now um yeah, I can I couldn't tell you. Something about transparency or invisibility or something. Y'all in the chat tell me who would win in a fight, Ghost or Kitty Pride. Kitty Pride's got a I dragon. Which she has a dragon and also she's part of the X-Men and also she's a character that the writers obviously cared a lot about. So I think that right there, just the lore aspect of it, Kitty Pride wins out. All right, let's get Fair. back to the card at hand. So we're thinking right, S yeah, here. Card at hand. S tier easy like the animation alone the 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 fact that they're able to represent like he's able to represent so much emotion and you know just like an evil look but still cute um Where? is is really interesting like i i think it's a i think it's a really good variant i think S tier fits it incredibly well i love I, as i'm watching the animation like the 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 outline around her head too and her arms is really really good yeah this this has been one of my favorite ghost variants for the three or four times that i've played ghost seriously so she like vibrates is that that's the thing that i'm okay yeah. that i guess that's probably different than kitty pride she's uh, intangible yeah right. gotcha. like the flash when he yeah. vibrates fast enough to pass through solid objects okay. i guess that's kind of what she's going for got it so are we thinking where are we thinking i think probably beats colleen you think so hmm yeah, I yeah. would say so. And yeah, I say that as a discard enthusiast. Mm. Okay, yeah, if Perry agrees with it, considering I, yeah. I'm the bias, no you know, problem. 
Uh, yep. Dakin. 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 I don't think it's better than Dakin. Okay. Really? You, th- you think it's above Dakin too? No, I don't okay. think it's better oh, than Oh, okay. Dokken. Okay, I thought you said you think it's better than Dakin. I was going to say. I think uh, she's right where she's, she needs to be. Okay. Good, good spot for Ghost. Up next, yeah, we yeah. have Goose. So, this one might be a little controversial. Uh, I don't like this variant. I think the tentacle flurkin stuff is just too much and i don't understand the pose like if you look at the arms or the paws what is going on like where is that leg coming from is it the one that's like which one's the one that's out on the side like that like is that a front paw is that a back paw i i don't i don't really know what's going on in this pose here it's strange to me it's waving I, I don't know. I would say C for Goose. See, I really like this one. I don't know. I understand the reasoning behind why you don't like it. I just think, like, I love the cat eyes and, you know, just it's just the silly little, like, chibi little swoops around the eyes. It's so happy and it's so ready to consume you. I like the shading around the, you know, the flurkin tentacles that are coming out of Goose. Um... Like this one is is solid and good, if not great. Like I would put this high B, at the very least, if not low A. That's my thinking behind it. So for me, this is a C. Wow. Yeah, we're going on the same page a lot tonight. Yeah, oh, it seems like it. I don't know. It's it's too much, right? Like yeah, I feel like it needs yeah. it, it needs to be shrunken down a little bit. Like, I think it would look cuter if it just had, like, a single little thing coming out. Like, like just hinting that it's flurkin. Yeah. And it, it being a cute little cat, I think that would go a lot further for me. And also, again, what Perry said, the arm. What is the arm doing? Is it waving at us? What, is it the front paw? Is it the back? It's, I think it's the front paw. But it's... How does a cat even put its yeah, arm yeah. in a cat? Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay, that's that's fair. I just, I'm... I'm tr- Trying out the anatomy of where that arm is. It's like Mystique's leg and her ultimate. I'm I'm confused. Yeah. So I don't know. Maybe like mid C. I I think it's better it's than Darkhawk. I think it's better than Echo and Destroyer. Honestly, I I'll think it's that. better than. Uh, I'll get, you I know can... what? You're advocating for yourself right now, Nick. I will give you that. All right. Personally, I would put it above Deathlock, but C for Cat. Is it's too perfect to to yeah. work like yeah. you know? I yeah. take that flock down from B and put them in C. Okay, behind Goose. I think that's fine. All right, Great. I'll, I'll allow. I it. can get behind that. Okay, uh, and you know what? While we're at it, put Captain Marvel in D two. Get her out of here. You're you're right. We do need some more. Yeah, get I think that's. I agree. She's bad. <laughs> no, I think we're in agreement that Captain Marvel's bad. I'm I'm on board. Groot Went from that being like a really great card for me, and we just slowly like <laughs> just bashed it down into the lowest tier. Power okay. scaling for tier lists. It's slowly yes. <laughs> power creep. It's okay because we have another. We have to make room because we have another S tier coming up here. Yeah, um, actually, I I need to pause again because we've got another uh, another one that we have. Uh, God damn it! What do we miss now? Gladiator. Oh my god. I, for whatever reason, too. he is in H. I am so sorry. That one's on me. Unbelievable. I can't I do this anymore. I'm, I can't I'm work like this. <laughs> the unprofessionalism. All right. So, Gladiator comes before Groot. What are we thinking about Gladiator? I had a mouthful here. Because I have so time. much to say about Gladiator. So, Gladiator. I think this is one of the better Gladiators, too. I think this is another example of Dan Hip's later work. You can just see there is so much more detail in some of his later work than some of his earlier work in Marvel Snap. And I think some of these were, uh, I think most of these, his later stuff at least, was designed specifically for Marvel Snap. And you can start to see that here in in these newer cards that came out. Um, Very cool pose, fills the frame well, uh, just looks good in this style. Like, I like that it's not too cutesy and there is some detail. It's not just all flat like some of the other ones like dagger um or crystal from earlier i think it's great i think it's an a tier for gladiator 
I, I would have honestly this is the gladiator that i outside of the ink pulp it's the only gladiator that i'm like i really really liked i think the the design of it the, like perry was saying this is clearly one that was done it feels like it was commissioned for marvel snap and designed for that the animation around the rocks the the colors you know there's maybe not a ton happening animation wise in it outside of the rocks and his cape but that's all that it needs. It's it's very compelling color and tone wise. It, it, this is this would be an S tier for me. It might be low S tier, but this is S tier for me. This is high S tier for me. This mm -hmm. is this is one of the best gladiators. This is the gladiator. I think it might be better than the ink pool gladiator, to be honest, for me. Like that's for me, but blast me. That's well. Art is subjective. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, this is the gladiator I love to run. Like, it's so good that a damn pose, the rocks that are coming out off outside of the frame of the card, the colors. Yeah, I would say this probably falls below Cosmo for me. I don't know if I'd go that high. I would, I'd probably put him, if we are going to put him in S, I'd probably put him, like, maybe between Colleen and Elsa. For uh, me? I'll yeah, fight you on I don't, that. I don't think he has the, the level of extra animation like something like doc and dracula and goes to yeah okay well two against one so you think in like right here yeah i think that's fine all right if we gotta go s tier all right yep. i i think it's an s tier i do um ditto up next the, pr the problem with this is now this is also an s tier so yep. I don't, I don't know if we want to crowd the S tier too much here, but I think the Groot has to be in there. It's baby Groot. It's in, it, it's just, you could tell he took his time with this one. He knew he had to knock this one out of the park because of how popular a character Groot is, how, how much baby Groot just exploded when Guardians 2 came out. Uh, it's, it's great. No notes, just 10 out of 10 S tier. I have so much regret for not getting this bundle. I don't think I had gold at the time and I was trying to be reasonable. I love this variant. It is so good. It is a shame that the card is unplayable because I think this is probably one of the best variants in the game as a whole. Like the the light in his eyes as he's going to catch whatever that is that he's going to catch. Please someone tell us what that is. I would love to know if it is a specific character. It is just everything Baby Groot should be everything a dan hip should be the background is so dynamic that you've got the the stars above you've got the the greenery down down below i think if i had seen it to this level and actually paid attention i think i would have done everything in my power to get it but i think it's it's so difficult because the card is not playable but it's beautiful to look at like if Groot ever becomes playable this is one that if it shows up in the vault i am going to snag in a millisecond. I think ah, this is hard. This might oh. fall below Cerebro, maybe above okay. Gambit. Are we? Okay, we're all in agreement it's S tier. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I was just a little worried for a second there yeah. because, <laughs> because we, we've, I've been disappointed a couple times today. No, no, uh, we agree. This is amazing. And I don't think I have this one, which makes me sad. But like yeah, you said, Brew isn't a super playable card. Um, and it was not cheap. It was like twenty twenty nine hundred gold. That's that's not. Oh, it was cheap a gold a bundle. That's, that's why. It was a gold that's bundle. That's why. Yeah. yeah. I I think yeah, it might be just shy of Cerebro. I think that's the only one that beats it in terms of cuteness. Like it's like that is the Baby Groot style. Like Baby Groot yeah. was designed for Dan Hip. Yep. Honest, I, in my opinion. This is better than the Cerebro just for the just like the eye animation alone and the colors that he's chosen. The fact that they all slowly change the little creature in front of him that he's going to grab and the background. There's there's so much more to this. When I look at cards, I love the Cerebro. You guys know I've, I've made it very clear. I love the Cerebro. But come on. Like he's so I'm OK with cute. giving Groot the number one on S tier. I'm OK with that. Perry. I think the only reason I wouldn't give him above Cerebro, again, is the same argument with Cosmo. It's very easy to make Baby Groot look cute. He's a cute character. I think yeah. you have to give extra credit for the originality and the, the design philosophy around what he did to Cerebro. 
the creativity on display valid. there earns that extra spot. This is just Baby Groot. And granted, he did a fantastic job. This is the best Baby Groot can look. But I think you just got to give Cerebro the extra nod for the creativity. I, well, I, you know what? The, the thing is, we also are going to, after all of this is done, compare all the S tiers too, and then we right. then we can we can do more deep dives on why and make arguments for because some of these may not make the cut. Yep. yep. Okay. Looking at this, I think we could probably drop Elsa Bloodstone down from S tier to A tier. Yeah. Um, at the front of A, if that's okay. Yeah. Like, I think I yeah. think she deserves to be front of A. Yeah. yeah, and I think that means we have to knock down Daredevil as well just so we can fit within yeah. the screen space that we have. So oh, Daredevil... We have to go over Daredevil personally, but that's fine. We got to give Nick his, uh, his yeah. G-man. N- Nick fought that, for that, Galactus. I, I appreciate that. I'm going to fight for one, and... Yep. I'm, I'm, I, I am thankful for that. Yeah, well, you're definitely part of this, so it's a collaborative effort. All um, opinions, even though if, even the wrong ones, are valued here. I think this is a pretty good looking list, if I do say so. Yeah, this is this is better than the A and A to B. Like A to B was very even. There weren't a ton of like super S tier ones. This, yeah. I did not realize even when I was organizing them, I did not realize how many were just banger cards. And this really has some of his best work. I'm looking forward to going forward. Because a part of me was just like, I know I like Dan Hips, but do I, did I like them as much as I thought that I did? And then I see these and I'm like, oh, yeah, I did. Yeah, like, they're wonderful. It's, it's easy. Well, I mean, uh, I'm seeing three, four discard cards in S tier, so <laughs> I'm clearly a happy man here. I think we did a great job today, gentlemen. <laughs> wonderful. Thank you all for watching. Uh, if you made it to the end, it is super appreciated. We will be doing another one of these in the future. I do not know how soon. Depends on people's schedules, but there will be more Den Hips to come. Um, let us know your thoughts. Let us know what you think we did right and what you would change. And uh, we will catch you all around. Also, uh, Hi, why everyone. don't you plug yourselves real quick? Uh, I will include your links in the description. But where can we find y'all? Perry, you want to go first? Sure. I am Perry Manilow across all platforms, nice and easy. Best place you could find me is Monday nights at 6 p.m. Eastern on Twitch for Marvel Snap Bingo. And I am Nick Degree Geek. Uh, it's the same everywhere else. The spelling will hopefully be on the screen. It's with a DA. Um, I stream sometimes. I am doing a podcast with Joe from Snap Decisions called Two Dude Snapping. And I'm doing some cool stuff for Power On. So we're all part of Power On. So make sure to find us over on the Power On Twitch channel, the Power On Twitter. Just come. It's a great group of people. It has been the most magnificent thing that I've had in my career outside of, you know, my family and kids. So it's a good group of people. And I think we're pretty fun too. I would agree. All right. Until next time. Thank you all for watching. Special thank you to all of our supporters on Kofi. Big thank you to Calvin Rankin for $10 a month. You can help support the stream as well as the community for giveaways and other cool things that we're doing in the future, as well as shout outs on all of my future videos. Thank you all for watching.